Hey, what is up, YouTube? It's me, Kevin, and we are back on my blind playthrough of uh, Control here. And we are playing Control to discover all of the Alan Wake 2 shared universe aspects. I, uh, Alan Wake 2, had just finished that game, and it was my game of the year. And now we want to play Control because I'm discovering how Remini Entertainment... Well, I, maybe a lot of people knew this, but I myself am just now discovering... There's a connected universe that Remini is creating, and it's pretty badass. So we are uh, we're jumping into this game, which actually <clears throat> I can't believe I never played this game because this is really fun. All right, hold on. One thing I wanted to do before we kick off today, like, what do we have to do? We're going to research and parapsychology to find Marshall. We're also on the lookout for Darling. But I realized too, I never looked at these astral constructs. Ooh, okay. Is this gonna be upgrades? Weapon or yes, here we go. Damn, I missed this. Oh, spin and shatter. Wait. Do I make these? I thought I maybe just got these. Oh, here we go. Alright, what is spin has a generous magazine and high rate of fire? Oh, it sounds like a eh. Shatter has high stopping power with a sh uh, scatter shot and devastating grouped enemies at close range. So more like a shotgun. Honestly, I don't like the sound of either of these. Probably more. I mean, I do like shatter better than grip. Or not not better than grip. Did I already upgrade it? Okay. Oh, I got another, another mod slot for it. Let's construct this. All right, so I have a new, uh, and then I can craft mods, okay. Let's get, what did I just, I have grip and charge. No, shatter. Okay, let's abandon that. Maintenance, we're not in maintenance anymore. Kill, killing using melee, how many, five? Oh, that's easy, we'll do that. Grip, kill enemies with headshots, okay. Man, I might have to quit this one. Oh no, this is kill enemies. No, 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 we're not quitting that. I, for some reason, I thought that was gonna be uh, the thing that we're, uh, I thought that was gonna be the challenge where I had to be in central executive. And, and you know, there was another thing too I wanted to do before we begin today. Going toward, is it the, I don't know if this is it. There was a guy over here to talk to. Arish or something. Arish. Uh, where was he? Oh yeah, he's right here. I just want to make sure there's anything to type C through. I've been getting reports that something's tearing up the training grounds. Might be worth checking out. What about the hiss? What do you know about the hiss? Not much, only what I've seen. Well, they use the same tactics that Marshall and Salvador taught us, which makes me think that the hiss haven't completely erased the people inside, which is a pretty fucking horrible thought. Or it... they're just using whatever they find in their victims' heads. In any case, they are really eager to get inside the power plant. Why do you think that is? Shit, I don't know. They want to make my life harder? So are they taken from Alloway 2 and the Hiss exactly the same? Do you know this Ati guy? <laughs> of course. He's my favorite coffee break buddy. Dude has got some crazy stories. And he probably knows more than anyone else around here. If you can make sense of what he's saying. Any idea where he's from? I'm guessing Sweden. Well, he's from where he's from. Look, there are just some stones that are better left unturned, you know? What do you know about the service weapon? Not much. That thing is director only. Salvador told me by the time he saw Trench use it. Sounds like that gun can do some serious damage. Yeah, I did see pictures of it once, though, and uh, it looks different to that thing you're carrying. You monitor something? It's new. Is new a good thing? Given the circumstances, I'd say new is our best bet. All right, this guy. What do you do here, Arish? Security chief of the maintenance sector. I make sure all the weird shit down here doesn't bother the maintenance crews. Learned everything I know from Salvador, the best security agent this bureau has ever seen. And you like your job? I love it. 
You know, everyone thinks that maintenance is the lowest rung on the ladder just because we fix pipes instead of writing memos, but I gotta be honest, these are the bravest people in the goddamn building. I'm proud to work with them. I've done a few odd jobs with these kind of folks. They say what they mean. I like that. Yeah, dude. I mean, first of all, they're engineers. They're gonna be super smart people. What exactly is the power plant? Listen, I only know what Salvador told me, but I know it generates all the electricity for the Bureau, and it's got two very simple rules. Rule one, keep it below a certain temperature. Rule two, don't ever, ever open it. Oh, and three, uh, it's classified, so I shouldn't ask. <laughs> Sounds like secrets are standard operating procedure around here. Oh, yeah. It's all part of the job. Right. I should be going. Right. You gotta lock down the lift. Yeah, you know, I was like making. All right, so in my previous some previous episodes. By the way, like, how do I swap to? How do I like? I unlocked. Right? Didn't I unlock this new weapon? How do I swap to it? Oh, and I can equip. What does this first one do? I can't tell what that is. Uh, headshot damage plus thirty four percent. Ammo cost per shot down 7%. Damage wall and low health plus 34%. Ammo cost per shot down 7%. Energy gain from headshots. Damage after kills. Let's go with the headshot damage. What is this thing about? Uh, projectile fired plus two, plus three. Projectile spread minus five, minus eight. Ammo cost per shot, minus seven. Damage while low on health. Ammo cost per shot, recoil. I don't know. Maybe more projectiles? Got more personal mods. Health plus 16%. Evade energy costs, yeah. Um, yeah, how do I equip this? I don't think it like actually told me. Yeah, that's not how we do it. All right, well. Hello. All right. I think we go back to the elevator, I believe, to get to research. Cause it seems like every major area, like getting to maintenance, you know, getting. Well, I, every major area. I mean, getting to maintenance, we went through this sector elevator. So let's see if we do the same thing for research. We do. Look at that. What do you know? I'm going to take a sip of my ice oat milk latte. Alright, I really got to figure out. F up. Is that it? That looks like it's it. Oh my god, that looks cool. So it's F. Ooh, dude, that's sick. Central research. Somebody thought this video would make for great internal communications. I'm looking at you, Mr. Tomasi. So, this is where the magic happens. Anyway, I, I've been here for 24 years now. I've always been here. And, and through those years, we've made astonishing discoveries, authored studies of grave importance, and in all this work, there is one thing we know, and that's how little we truly know. Rest assured, we're committed to keep pushing the known laws and borders of reality, and to make the Bureau proud. So, welcome. Assuming you have the necessary clearance and and do follow the safety protocols. Read the manual. Otherwise, bad things will happen. Dude, his assistants Research are like sector, huh? I mean, Home first of all, uh, they're mad scientists. Look like they're told to be quiet because they are like totally mute. They kind of look nervous. Plant complaint. Hey, so I was just wondering about the plants and research. Is it really necessary to sing to them? 
I mean, that janitor does have a nice voice and the plants sure seem to like it. Maybe he could just switch it up a bit? I'm getting pretty tired of the tango. And where did these plants even come from? No one seems to remember when they were planted. And people like them a bit too much if you ask me. Are we being invaded by houseplants? Worth looking into, Dr. Lewis. These plants? By the way, let's see. Dude. Okay. Yeah, I, I changed that to old. I think that's gonna be better. What is this? Synchronicity? A glimpse into the paranatural synchronicity and the unseen connection. Synchronicity is a phenomenon long recognized by the wise, but only recently given a name by science. It is how we rationalize events connected by no identifiable casualty or causality, sorry, yet clearly conjoined a purpose. How does a dream foretell an event in the physical plane? Why do hounds bail at the death of their master, which has occurred miles away? The world is unified in ways we do not yet understand, and sometimes we stumble across these invisible, unseen cores and wonder at the results. The visionary Carl Jung laid, laid the road. Now we must walk it. My fledgling research department will make it our mission to reliably reproduce blank behavior by the close of 1959. Once done, the mechanics of synchronicity will lay themselves bare in due time. We are striding into the future of science. History may not remember our names, but God himself will. Refer to file blank for full report. It's so creepy, dude. They were, they were in the middle of a presentation. What is that? That's the hotel, I think. That looks like Ocean View Hotel or Motel. I need more ammo. He missed me. Someone shooting at me? I need it. I need melee kills. Oh, oh, shit. See a, see a thing down here, right? Oh, uh, hello? Who are you? Yo, let me try this. This is, man, yeah, this is good. I'm hitting the wrong buttons. I, I forget my controls this morning. All right, who's doing this? Okay, yeah, no, 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 no. Oh my God, get out of there. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm enough of that. Where'd that go? Oh. What? I thought that went on the other side of the stairs. I thought that went like the, like a level below me. Well, okay, that was all my fault. I uh, just ran in and just forgetting controls. I swapped evade from control to alt and I was just kind of forgetting that while I was fighting.
These guys are really hard to headshot. hitting and he dropped it on himself right man I wish I had grenades Locked onto his head right there. This gun must not have range, dude. I don't know how some of these shots are missing. The lock. Okay, that was a lock. Bro, I, I thought there might be bombs or something. Shatter projectile choke. All right, if we go parapsychology, I mean, research is parapsychology, or is that like a sub? A subdivision. I don't know. Oh, is this a control point? Uh, threshold utility. Thresholds have always been sources of great inspiration and great challenge. When a new threshold manifests in the oldest house by blank, we never know what new discoveries it will provide to the bureau. But we must always seize these opportunities. This report will examine the process of distinguishing recent threshold effects based on their, utilitar or their utilitarian possibilities. The quarry brought BlackRock, one of our most invaluable discoveries. But if the mold has any scientific value, it has been difficult to find due to the links we must go to in fighting back the particularly prolific plant. These are very distinct cases and worth comparing as their study offers vastly different dangers and rewards. Is the mold what is the mold like those little areas that like hurt you? Or no, this is this might be the mold. Oh, hello? Is there another way? Maybe right here. No, hold up. I feel like I should have made this. Oh, come on, I didn't jump. <laughs> it's still awkward on all. I thought I. I thought I, I bound. Evade to my mouse. I would really like it as a mouse button. Alright, something tells me we don't go. Oh, what is this? Is 
the shelter. Okay, well this one, I thought it was some secret area you could only get to from there. Apparently not. An astral blip. Fucking blip. All right, well, I guess we go parapsychology. She's in trouble. I need to reach her. Marshall? What gun do I have out? Oh, bitch. They shot a rocket at me or something? Oh, maybe this guy? in here but he's like kiss I guess damn dude they I, I feel like this is experiment too huh they probably like forced it on this guy or you know I don't know that they could have uh, could have been a freak accident and then they just put him in there for testing emergency call supplement this is a supplement I don't have the summary Transcript of a call to the California State Emergency Services. Dispatcher 911, what is your emergency? Hello? Hello? I'm here. Can you hear me? I can hear you, ma'am. Where are you? I'm uh, inside the wires. I'm lost. Ma'am, have you been drinking tonight? I feel like I'm stretching through the wire towards you. Don't hang up. I might go if you hang up. Go where, ma'am? Go. Gone. Away. Okay. And can you describe your surroundings? Ma'am? Hello? Ma'am? Dispatcher attempted to call the number back, but it was no longer in service. Okay. No one in the wires. Oh, dude, that freaks me out, dude. <laughs> that thing's flying to you like that. That freaks me out. There's like test dummies up here. That's it. Okay, so we gotta go on the other side over here. I kind of wonder, will I take fall damage? No. Okay. Pretty high up. Pretty high fall too. The astral plane. It's similar to an iceberg, what you see is not what you always get. Regardless, this place is vitally important to the Bureau. Most information on the astral plane is, is classified, but we can talk in broad strokes, keeping in mind these are staggeringly complex systems, and simplification does them no justice. Now, the white non-space, the ever-present inverted black pyramid, the board, all linked, intrinsically tied to the oldest house, tied to the director, the process of choosing a director, tied to all objects of power in terms of who controls them. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Plans 10 control points. That's the achievement I just got. Do we have ability of points? We still don't have ability of points. 
Construct Pierce. Oh, I don't have enough stuff. Damn. What is this one? Pierce is precise with a charged shot that penetrates armor and enemies at range. Damn, dude. See, that's what I would like. Oh, man. I, I shouldn't have bought Spin or Shatter. This one sounds better. Oh, you know, I should be... Oh, I finished a couple things here. What is this one? Uh, is this the one where I got to kill? Yeah, without dying. And I died to a grenade that I just didn't think would kill me. Kill enemies with service weapon in charge mode. Pierce mode. We, we want to get pierce mode. Um, executive sector? We're not in executive sector. No executive sector. No maintenance. Kill hiss elevated. Three. That's part of- oh no, that's a model of the astral plane right there. Astral Exhibition. The Astral Exhibition was originally built for the astronauts to use as training location. A place to grow accustomed to the sights and sounds of the astral plane before diving into the real thing. We could have done a better job with it, but Blank was being stingy with the budget. However, once we discovered the blank, we decided to repurpose the space. Similar to how zoos hope familiar surroundings will affect the well-being of their animals, we hope to observe the blank behavior in an environment similar to its home dimension. Uh-oh. So far, it just breaks everything we put in with it, but Rome wasn't built in a day. Addendum. New naming conventions have been established for the astral entity known as the Astral Spike. Outdated terms in this report have been redacted. Astral spike. Like that? Is that an astral spike right there? I don't know what that is. Oh, is this a creepy doll? Oh no, Casper Darling. An early hypothesis was that the mindscape of the astral plane is subjective. But that was fast proven wrong. It's an actual place, not a construct of the mind, even though it is with our minds that we enter and experience it. But then one could argue that that's the case with all reality. We've been able to record footage of the astral plane by monitoring the brain activity of those experiencing it. That is the only concrete material that has come out of the astral plane expeditions. Apart from one shocking exception. In the astral plane footage, we're always in the vicinity of the pyramid. We've concluded that this, not the entire plane, is what the board controls. The pyramid? We have glimpsed movement. Native species always in the distance, and yet, contact was made. We don't have footage of this, a technical malfunction, but when one of our astral knots returned, a brain cloud, an astral fugue, had hitchhiked a ride in his head. It ruptured out, killing the subject in question. It's a relentless predator pursuing thoughts, minds, lethal to those the entity feeds on. Proper containment protocols are to be observed when dealing with it. Damn, dude, it eats thoughts and minds. No bueno, dude. No freaking bueno. What just happened? I That's... can't believe they keep that thing here. What is this dude? Oh, it opened a door. Am I going in? I go to the door across? Oh, I see what- I bet I know what you do. You bait it in here. Run this way. Damn it. 
Okay, I see now. I had to power it first. Hey, bridge! <laughs> you run? Oh, God! <laughs> Holy shit! It, like, knew right away. Two, where's the other? Oh my god. Alright, it should work now, right? I mean damn. Oh god! I was stuck on the wall. All right, we trapped it. What was the Bureau doing with that thing? Parapsychology. Someone answer, damn it! We need backup down here. Marshall, are you still there? Shit, we're so close. We need to hurry. All right. Oh, what is that? What was that? Oh, what just happened there? Who did that? Else up here? alive that oh he's a grenade launcher guy Control point to clans. I mean, so far the combat's not hard at all. You just, I mean, you can get caught though in in an instance. Yeah, hold on one second. Group think. 
This summary extends the works of Irving Janus, Robert Barron, and others by proposing strong casual links between groupthink and, and the passive or active use of telepathy. To improve these connections, the parapsychology department carried out variations of Solomon Ask original conformity experiments using the, a telepathic individual as a subject. See experiments blank for details. Extensive qualitative and quantitative data resulting from these experiments was then used to identify telepathic interference within the group. Further empirical findings suggest measures can be taken to safeguard against telepathic influence on behaviors by engaging in blank. Rather boldly, this paper stands to revolutionize decades of groupthink therapy or theory and provide new directions for further experimentation on the mind, including manipulation of blank and blank. Captive audience. Let's see what that. Let's see what that's about. I think we're gonna stick to what we're doing right now. Jesse learns of another object to power. Ooh, actually no, we want to do this. The hypnosis lab. Where's that? It's showing that it's down. Is that what this is? Okay. Yeah. Hell yeah. Object of power is me new abilities. Oh. I see it. Another object of power? They're just standing there. What is this? Mesmerized by it. Oh. Up, down, left. Sure. Is that is it? Yeah, that thing in there, huh? But how do this door is locked? Did I? Let's just not even bother there. Intrusive pattern. What do? All right, hold on. This must like be the lock, but I don't understand. Hello? I do. I'm confused. Is there a thing to explain this? It's charged. Oh yeah, hold on. Where are these? His clusters are unique in that they are concentrated manifestations of his resonance without the need of a host. His clusters are dense, spherical compressions of his resonance that serve support functions in the hierarchy of his entities. The clusters are capable of replenishing his host with infusions of resonance. This does not heal any physical damage inflicted on the organic host, but rather seems to rejuvenate them, allowing them to endure more bodily harm. Okay, so like, gives them a shield. Uh, astronauts information. Okay, hold on. This is about the x-ray. Okay. This report serves as an introductory guide to the astronaut program, including candidate requirements, training practices, and astral research procedures. Astronauts are chosen individuals who explore and document the astral plane by making physical contact with the x-ray light box in the hypothesis lab, a section of the parapsychology divisions. Physical and physiological training is vital for the repeated transition between planes known as dives. 
After each dive, astronauts must undergo a blank session in the cognitive recording chairs to record their experience in the plane. Gather, gather data has conclusively proven that blank blank within the astral plane vary widely between astronauts. On rare occasion, these dives can result in losses, often occurring when teams encounter aggressive astral entities. Okay, that didn't explain anything. Damn. Uh, that didn't explain anything. Executive major targets. Wait, oh, what did I just do? Did I do that? Go to pneumatics? Have I ever been to pneumatics? Where's pneumatics? Where was my control point? Maddox is not here, or maybe I haven't discovered it yet. The major target. So like a, an elite enemy, like a mini boss. I want to try this. Not that way. How have I not gotten any more points? It's kind of crazy. The Maddox, not over here. Not over here. I don't think I've discovered pneumatics. It's not that way. I don't get any like waypoints, so I don't, yeah, I don't know what to do with that. Astral exhibition. All right, well, I don't know what to do with that. We haven't found, we haven't found that area yet. Find a way into the room to bind the x-ray light box. Is there, is there some sort of symbol I'm supposed to match? I'm not given any kind of like hint. Am I? Like, is it this? Something's locked. Like it's not available yet. Like, does this need to be? I, I don't know. Well, damn it. All right. Well, I don't want to spend too much time just yet. We'll we'll not forget about that for sure. We'll come back. Let's go find Marshall. 
We'll do that. Maybe it's something I do later. I don't know. We already looked over. Yeah, we already looked over there. Parapsychology elevator. Marshall, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Who is this? My name is Jesse Faden. I'm coming to help. Faden? Hold on. I'm sending the elevator for you. We need to talk. She got that right. More of you? Really? Hey man, what is that? Yeah, did I get enough to unlock Pierce? Hell yeah. That's what we're going with. And then Oh, I locked Matt. Did I oh I finished one there? So we got Pierce, so we can do Pierce mode. I want to try it out. I, I think I'm going to like this. It sounds kind of like a sniper. Uh, where? Nope. Enjoy. Pierce. What is this? Rate of fire? Damage after kills. Energy gain from headshots, damage while low, damage after kills, I guess. That one? Okay. You know, I kind of wonder if there was missing mama. Oh, yeah. The threshold kid stuff. I just, I want to clear all this. There we go. All right. I'll tell you what, before we go talk to Marshall, that's probably a good time to end this video. So we are definitely making our way through research. Um, I guess on the next video, we'll go help with Marshall. I thought they're like in the last episode I played, it sure as hell sounded like a boss was coming up. So we may be facing off with a boss in the next video. Um, but anyways, if, if you're enjoying the content, think about hitting the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave me a comment, but definitely stay tuned for the next episode. Hope to see you there.